classroom hatcheries receive Atlantic salmon eyed eggs in January. The eyed eggs develop and hatch alvin in February or March. These tiny fish with their yolk sacs attached are released from the incubating tray. Corresponding with time and temperature, the yolk sac is used up and the alvin become fry. These powerful little swimmers are ready for release in a local cold water stream. To collect the fry, we shut off all of the hatchery equipment, remove some of the water, carefully remove all of the rocks, and then using a net, we catch the fry and place them in a container with some of the tank water. The containers are loaded into coolers with ice packs to keep the water cool during transport to the release site. The release site has been chosen because it has healthy and suitable habitat with connectivity to Lake Ontario. The release stream is one of our program's restoration streams. Sections of the stream have received habitat projects to improve water quality, habitability for Atlantic salmon, and stream connectivity. This site is a perfect new home for the little fry. There's lots of tree cover. The shade from these trees helps to keep the water cool. The tree roots help to stabilize stream banks, which reduces soil erosion which helps keep the water clear and the stream bottom rocky. The moving water grabs air as it tumbles over rocks, adding oxygen that the fish breathe with their gills. The classroom hatchery mimics the natural environment. A chiller to keep the water cool, insulation for darkness, air pump and filter for oxygen and water quality, and gravel for places to hide. Before we release the fry, we place their container into the stream for five to 10 minutes to balance the container and stream temperatures, reducing stress on the fish. The fry are then netted out of the container students help to release them. The fish feel the natural current for the first time. They find places to hide in the rocks from predators and hunt for tiny invertebrates. These fish have gone from eggs to eyed eggs to alvin and now fry. By fall they will be par. They will spend one to three years in the stream before becoming smolts and heading downstream to Lake Ontario. In the lake, they will eat fish, grow big, and one to three years later, return upstream to spawn and start the life cycle over again. Many thanks go out to the teachers, students, principals, vice principals, librarians, custodians, and secretarial staff that help to raise these fish in the classroom and to contribute to this native species restoration. This program is sponsored in part by Ontario Power Generation and funded in part by Ontario Trillium Foundation. For more information on the Lake Ontario Atlantic Salmon Restoration Program, please visit bringbackthesalmon.ca and the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters.